What we're going to talk about now is how to get some experience. The best way to do this, there's a couple of ways of doing it. The first way is to go out and find the clubs that are playing the kind of music that you're into and the kind of music that you'd like to play. Go to those clubs and mingle with the people. Find out who's putting on the parties. Give out CDs to the people that go to the club. Give out CDs to the promoters. I mean, that's one way. Then get online, do marketing, upload your mixes, get people to download them. Just build your reputation, build your name. Now, the best way to get the experience is to do it yourself and to start your own nights. And a lot of successful people have started out like this. The way to do it is go to a local bar, get a night, book a night in, and try to get a couple of hundred of your friends to come out and party. And if you can do that once a month, then you've got your own night. And once you've got your own night, Everybody wants to know you and people want to book you because you can pull a couple of hundred people to their club. And really that's what it's all about. It's getting into the scene, creating a scene, becoming a part of a scene and becoming successful. And that's the way that you're going to break into it. Okay, what we need to talk about now is something really important. It's about warm-up DJing. And warm-up DJing is what you're going to probably be having to do a lot of when you start off. And warming up is probably one of the hardest jobs to do and get right because it, it, it takes a lot of restraint from you as a DJ. Um, there's some tips that you need to follow to become a successful warm-up DJ. The tips are to play the kind of music that you would like to be listening to when you walk into a club, stuff that's not too fast and too loud and too abrasive or peak time music. You need to play subtle records, melodic records, and stuff that's not too fast. I mean, in a house club, anything over 125 beats per minute wouldn't really be considered warm-up. It doesn't really leave enough room. Your job as a warm-up DJ is to build anticipation. You've got to make it feel like something's about to happen. But you're not necessarily going to give it to them. You're setting that up. And that's why it is such a hard job, because all the glory is taken by somebody else. But at the same time, if you do a really good job as a warm-up DJ, you get a lot of respect, and because people do understand what a hard job it is to do. So do it and do it well and stick to it. 